Hey everybody, it's Ford from This Old Find, and today I get the privilege of setting up an estate sale and working in the basement. Let's get at it. All right, so I'm going to be working on the unfinished side of the basement today, and it's kind of a mess. My main goal for today is going to get this basement in tip-top shape so we can have another successful estate sale for our client. So we have some shelves to take care of, uh, go through some boxes, and the main work is going to be in this corner. The homeowner said that most of this could be trash, but you never know. It could be some treasure hidden in there. We have some boxes to go through and organize a little bit in here. It's so funny. You pick up a box and you think, oh yeah, it's definitely the digital photo frame. It turns out to be a box half full of golf balls. We got two boxes here that could have some antiques in them. I have here a Philco radio, I think. It's cute, looks like a lunchbox. You just carry it around. It's not in the worst shape, probably doesn't work, but someone can clean it up and it can be a nice shelf sitter. I like it. We have an old camera. Let's see, it's Zeiss icon. All right, got a VHS rewinder. No one needs that anymore. Over here, we've got a book section. Okay, and of course, all the books are facing the wrong way. So that's a project I gotta do. All right, doesn't that look so much better? I, I didn't have to, but I went ahead and put these in chronological order because if not, my OCD would probably just go insane. But I think it was a good decision. It looks really good. Now this is a Britannica great book set, uh, 1 through 54 from 1952, and it actually has sold recently for upper 200, so that's pretty exciting. I don't know if we can get that here, you know, on eBay it's much wider market and books are a lot harder to sell. And then I thought these Dutch in Walt Disney World uh, Resort uh, brochures were interesting. I'm not a Disney buff, and I've only been there once when I was eight. Uh, that was a long time ago, and I have no idea if this place is still around or in business, but, you know, Disney historians or some collectors may want them. So I just cleared off and dug out and turned around the these, these stereo. Looks like it's made by Columbia. Um, it's got a high-fidelity stereo in here and a record player. And then I guess this was the speaker, but it feels empty. Uh, it's very light, so it was turned around. Probably doesn't work to store down here, but I don't know. We'll see. It might sell. Okay, time to tackle this work table now. Ah, much better. I did find this uh, Know Your Money Uncle Sam United States Secret Service Treasury Department um, Counterfeit advertising matchbooks. So that was just sitting on that work table over there. I found one similar. Uh, they're asking about 40 bucks on eBay. Nothing like this has sold, so I don't know what I'm going to put on it, uh, but I thought it was a really interesting find for just being up on the work table. You never know what you're going to find. All right, now to tackle this room. I do see something that says Fisher Price Toys. So let's dig in that and see if anything's cool in there. Well, I'll be. It does look like there's Fisher Price toys in here. All right, we got cars. Looks like most of these are 1970s Hot Wheels. Um, I did find a Wookiee. There we go. And some Transformers. Uh, I did not collect Transformers when I was a kid. Um, I obviously know of them, but you'll need some research on what, finding out which ones these are. My favorite one is this Porsche. I mean, come on. If I think that's a Transformer. If it is, it's awesome that they did a licensed one with Porsche. So I need to do some research on that. It's really cool. We don't find a lot of Transformers at all. Um, usually they're quite beat up or broken or missing parts because they've just been played with too much. 
Here's the Fisher Price toys. The one that stands out the most is the McDonald's. We don't see this one very often. I like that it has the uh, tray return right there. And it has its sign. So that's cool. Here's all the toys laid out from that box. All right, so we dug as much as we could out of this room. Um, most of this stuff was lawyer paperwork, um, old school work. So, like I said, they're tearing the house down. She said you can just leave it all there, which is awesome. I don't have to bag it up for trash. And there's just empty boxes. And here's what it looks like after it's all done. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, bye!